First step for assembling the cycloidal arm joint kit is opening the thrifty cycloidal box. Inside it, I'll have a two inch stub shaft and the cycloidal gearbox along with the motor mount plate and the face mount plate. Go ahead and remove the motor mount plate and we'll go ahead and remove the face mount plate as well just to get the gearbox by itself. You can set aside the face mount plate and the motor mount adapter plate as we're not going to use them for this application. Now let's take the larger of the two types of gussets in the kit and we're going to take our 516 832 bolts and start threading those into the outside bolt pattern. We're going to attach a gusset on each side of the gearbox. And when you're all done, the gearbox should look like this with both gussets mounted. Now we're going to attach the gearbox to one of the 2x1 extrusion arm pieces. You'll just slide it over and line up the bolt holes. We're going to insert our 1.5 inch long 1032 bolts through the hole pattern. Get all four bolts going through and get your lock nuts started on there. Then go ahead and snug that up pretty tight and double check your 832 bolts on the gearbox itself. Now let's start to build up one of the arm joints. You'll take the plastic spacer and basically we're going to create a sandwich on each side of the 2x1 extrusion by aligning the hole patterns. You'll take your 2 inch bolt and slide it through the gusset plate both plastic spacers, the 2x1 extrusion, and another gusset plate on the other side. Get a couple of bolts going through to make all the holes line up with each other. And use the included 1032 lock nuts start to tighten those up by hand. Put that last bolt in, get all four bolts going through the stack up. And start to snug these up. You don't want to tighten it all the way yet. Leave it a little bit loose still. Now we're going to join the two arms together. Let's take the arm that doesn't have the gearbox mounted to it and it'll slip over the gearbox side. We have two Delrin spacers where the hole pattern will line up with the one and a half inch hole pattern on the gearbox and you just simply slip that over there and start to put the half inch long 832 button heads into those holes. Let's flip it over. We'll take the Delrin spacer, slide it in there because we left everything a little bit loose. And then let's get a couple of those bolts started on this side as well and get those hole patterns lined up. Keep adding bolts, tighten them up as you go. We want to get bolts on every single hole in this setup. Now let's check to make sure the motion path and the movement of the gearbox is good. You can take both arms and move them like this and nothing should hit each other. Now let's snug up those gusset plates that we left a little loose earlier for assembly purposes. And again, just checking motion here. Everything looks smooth and good. Coming up on the last steps here, we have a two and a half inch stub spline shaft. You'll insert that into the gearbox. That's how we're going to power 
the joint. You'll take the 1032 3 8 long button head and a washer and insert that in on one side. And on the opposite side, we have a spacer. This will just offset anything that you slide onto the shaft. In this example, we're going to use a half inch hex adapter, spline shaft adapter, put that on there. And we have a pulley, a ThriftyBot 24 tooth HTD pulley, but you could use a larger pulley if you wanted to. And you'll take your other 1032 bolt and washer and snug that up. And at this point, your cycloidal arm joint is complete. Let us know if you have any questions or feedback, and thanks for watching.